YouTube. I'm uh, doing this video today because I have a couple of my, um, well, my two Indonesian tree boas have come down with a respiratory infection. Um, and I did a little research on how to um, kind of do a home therapy treatment for it. I just wanted to do this before I stress them out and, and take them to the vet and give them shots of Batril and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, there's my male there. He's pretty miserable. Um, anyways, um, so this is how I have learned to treat them. I think there's also another video on YouTube that kind of shows the same type of thing. Basically, you need one small container. This is just a, a little critter keeper that will fit both of them comfortably. Um, that's well ventilated. And then you also need a larger airtight container. Um, well, this one's almost airtight. It's close enough for our purposes. Um, a small bowl. This is I'm using this one because I can throw it away when I'm done. Um, and also, I will be using some Vicks Vapo Rub and this is um, eucalyptus oil that I got from Whole Foods. So basically, what you do is, and I just took a very small amount, a little less than half of a teaspoon of the Vicks Vapor Rub. I'm gonna try and get this in here. Oops. Okay, sorry guys. Um, so that's the Vicks Vapor Rub I'm gonna put in the bowl, and then also just a few, a few drops of the eucalyptus oil. Just a couple shakes. There is all it takes. Um, and then I'm going to put my snakes into the smaller container. Let's see if he'll cooperate for me. I'm sorry about the shadows. My kitchen lighting really is not very good. Come on, buddy boy. I could tell that he had an upper respiratory infection um, just because he's breathing really funny. He also had um, some really gross mucus coming out of his mouth when I opened his mouth to check. So he's really the worst off um, and it's because we've had this really cold snap in California the last uh, month or so and I, I was not aware that um, the heat that I had on them was just not adequate. So they both came down with a little bit of an infection. Hers isn't quite as bad. Um, she, she still ate a couple weeks ago for me. He hasn't eaten in I think over six weeks. Um, luckily he hasn't lost too much weight but I just need to get this infection cleared up. Okay so there you have the setup. I'm gonna come over here and I have some boiling water and this water is gonna get poured into my handy dandy Cool Whip container. I'm just gonna fill it up there. the lid on and that boiling water is just going to cause a lot of steam in the container. They don't like it a whole lot. Um, they kind of move around when they're in there but it really seemed to help clear them up the first time I did it. This is the third treatment um, and I'm planning on doing this once a day for 10 days and basically they just sit in here for like 20 minutes. And then I take them out, and I, um, I'm also dosing them with the Reptaid, which I just bought. It got awesome reviews. It's another all-organic. Uh, it's supposed to be really great, and it's supposed to be for smaller reptiles. Um, I guess these guys qualify as tiny reptiles because the dosing is still a little bit hard. Um, but we figured it out, um, and I'm giving it to them orally. It's not very easy but I still think it's better than me taking them to the vet and having to get all kinds of blood work and x-rays and fecals and all the stuff that vets like to do. I just don't want my little guys being poked and prodded and injected with stuff unless I really think it's necessary. So we're going to try this treatment for 10 days, um, give them another week and see if they're acting normal yet and see if their symptoms have cleared up. I'm hoping it works because I'm really worried about these little guys. But that's the treatment. Like I said, I think there's another video on YouTube that um, another guy also shows really clearly how it's done. Um, I really like it. I know there's a, another treatment out there where you use the F10 veterinary disinfectant, but I really just didn't want to use any weird chemicals on these guys. I'm a big fan of trying homeopathic and natural remedies before I, before I go to the vet. Um, at least if it's not an emergency, I just always like to try this stuff first. I just feel like it's a lot less stressful on them. 
anyways, we're going to let them sit in there and steam, and then I'm going to dose them with the Reptate, and that'll be their, their treatment for tonight. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps anybody else who has a problem with reptiles and, and respiratory infections. Um, I, really, I really am hoping that this will help them. Thanks for watching.